No! It hasn't hit me. No! Oh! Oh! Stop! Good mythical morning. Now we have been told that this is one of the smelliest leaving things in episodes, which is kind of surprising considering we left things in one of the most aromatically enticing beverages ever, coffee. Right, but maybe it's not that surprising because if you think about coffee breath, I mean, it's hard uh, to get rid of coffee breath. My boss, when I was an engineer, had it was like a cannon, man. My boss had horrible. It, he would come up over my too. cubicle like this and speak to me in the morning, and it was just like. A I had to time my breath with my boss so that I would breathe in when he was breathing in, and then <laughs> breathe out as he was talking. Okay, well, which that's then meant, meant I couldn't talk to him because I was out of breath when he was done talking. <laughs> Yeah, that's quite a predicament. Okay, now with that stinky warning in mind, let us now head to the shelf that we leave things on, which we call the shelf that we leave things on. We've done Coke, bleach, air, Guinness, salt, pool water, nail polish remover, mouthwash, champagne, shamrock shakes, Irish whiskey, a 93 Infinity G20, margaritas, dirt, wine, glow sticks, citric acid, Red Bull, eggs, and spherees. <laughs> but today, we're taking a little coffee break. It's time for Left on a Shelf. Coffee edition. All right, we're gonna guess what happened to things we left in coffee for not one, but two months. Dang. If we get three or more right, we get our very own official GMM travel mug. Look, Look at that at thing. This good mythical morning. It's cylindrical. It fits in your freaking cup holder in your car. And. Look at that. Keeps things cold. It's keeps empty. Hot. It comes empty. You can put lots of coffee in there. You can smack this thing down. It's stylish, functional, and a fresh new form factor, if you ask me. First up, we left a baseball in coffee for two months, and our options are, after two months, did the baseball A, grow a circular layer of mold like Dame Judy Dench's forgotten Nuvar, N Nuvar Nuvaring. Nuvaring. <laughs> uh, Nuvaring. Uh, it's like a birth control device that you leave in your... Uh, mm. In your Judy Dench. Yeah, right. <laughs> Got it. And if you or forget about it, it grows mold, I guess. B, uh, get lopsided like an account of Prince Andrew's whereabouts. Oh, wow, we're going after the Brits today. Huh? <laughs> okay, so. Get lopsided, I, I. Have you ever opened up a baseball? I mean, as a child, I did. All right, change an episode, title, thumbnail, rent link, dissecting baseball, and forget what they're actually up to. Where, do we even have a? A knife? Something sharp. They took the knife out of mine. Good, good, I took the knife. Thank you for taking the knife out of this. I, I think it grows mold because there's leather and something, stuff will grow on leather. Are you gonna disagree? I know you're cutting. I'm just, I'm just trying to see, because I don't think there's anything that can make this lopsided. I mean, here's quite a knife. You wanna use this nope, one? Nope, don't. Uh, oh, come on. Dude. Right in there? Hey. Oh, you wanna do it together romantically? Oh. Then you uh, so I'm going for mold. In the middle. Brett's not saying what he thinks it is. Are you agreeing? You you need to see to be there's able There's just to... some rubberized, there's like a rubber core. Yeah, clearly, it's mold. Okay, we're going with A, Judy Dench. Let's open this puppy up. Uh, I don't First see. of all, let's... Oh! <laughs> what, what? I didn't expect this one to stink. How did the baseball? I knew the stuff was gonna stink. Uh, what, is a baseball, it's a baseball made out of like people or something? Like what? <laughs> Oh my gosh. And there's a, that on top is a whole, that, that's, that's mold right there. Let's, let's get a little scraping. I action. think maybe that mold may have been all the way, that, that mold yeah. was a perfect and circle and we, when we sloshed we, it we around, sloshed it, it, it broke like, off. So the part of the, golly, the part of the baseball that was floating above the surface. Wow, you smell it now? Yeah. Okay. All right, so we were right, and we're sorry about it. Okay, we left cat food and a potato in coffee for two months. After two months, which one got that stank like a show on Quibi? <laughs> Ow. Ouch. Wow, come on, guys. I mean, did you, did you, I mean. The cat you, food or the can, potato? You can turn it. You can turn it, and it changes. It goes vertical. Um, I feel 
very confident that it's the potato. Long term. Because, I mean, right now, boy, that smells worse than a potato. But right. add two months and some coffee? I, I mean, it made a baseball stink to high heaven. I feel like the cat food is already processed and like it's yeah. gone through yep. something. Yep. I agree. I agree that it is a potato. So let's so let's open up the cat food. Let's first. reveal both. Oh my goodness, they are both now, shades of. We brown. know that they're both going to stink because we the baseball stink. I'm gonna get rid of this stink. But we have to believe. Can you take that away so it doesn't mess with I our. I have to believe that the baseball is going to be worse. Stinking I mean, assertion. The, oh, it waft it, man. You're a scientist. It's bad, but it's not, I mean, it's not the worst thing I've ever smelled. It's, it's, it's bad. You know, it, the baseball was, had a high smell, mm -hmm. and this has a low smell. Those are scientific terms. This right. smells like what I thought the baseball would smell like, like a saddle. Now, I will open the potato. Like a nasty saddle. All right, this has to be worse. We have to be. Oh, oh my gosh! I saw smoke come out of it. Oh, no! It hasn't hit me. No! Oh, stop! It smells like baby diarrhea. Like it literally smells like I one of those nasty little babies. Having a nasty little poop. That's the worst thing I've ever smelled on this. Well, it's not worse than Surströming, but it's, that is, whoa. Oh my gosh, I will never Boy, I was, eat a potato again. I was wafting it's it so lunch, hard at your I face. Get surprised. Somebody chewed up a whole wad of Orbit's gum and then soaked it in coffee for two months. After those two months, did the gum, A, fall apart like approximately 50% of all marriages in the US, oh. or B, stay together like homeschooled kids on a trip to the big city. <laughs> uh, nobody wins with these options. Oh man, okay. Homeschooled so, kids huddled on a street corner. Yay, yay, yay. Have you ever chewed gum and had coffee at the same time? What's wrong with that one? I almost got something. You spit my face. <laughs> it's vinegar. What? You, it's what? a vinegarized. What are you talking about? There's something wrong with the. With what? There's something wrong with the egg. I don't. What do you? What do you I don't acknowledge this. Is what I'm trying to get at. <laughs> okay. I, I, I thought the whole bit was I don't acknowledge it. Okay. So what? What? I, um... So I've never chewed gum and drank coffee at the same time, and that feels like something that I wouldn't even think about. Coffee is acidic, and this is probably gonna get broken down over the course of two months. And so I think that it fell Fall apart. apart. Fell apart, fell apart. The acid got to it. A, we're going with A. We have to agree. Oh, but you, but you acted like you were agreeing it. I'm a bit torn, but. I don't really know. Agreeing okay. it. <laughs> is it we say it dissipates, A. Oh. oh, it sure did. Look at that. But maybe. It looks like popcorn. Maybe it made it taste, maybe it made it, sm it taste it. <laughs> maybe it made it smell better, because of all the mint. Huh. Oh. Smells horrible. Just kidding. Oh. It smells good. Minty. Let's pull that out. Oh. Ah, uh, yeah. Marriage. <laughs> now, who's the one who chewed this? Caitlin, was this you? You chewed this gum? No, Lucas, Lucas, Lucas chewed the gum. He's not here, you can't say anything about He's him. He's not here. He's probably somewhere just still chewing gum. <laughs> All right, we were right. Okay, we got a bacon, egg, and cheese bagel from Dunkin', and then we've got the TGI Friday's slider. This After, is a sad looking slider. Well, taste it and find out. I smelled it and learned enough. After two months, which one doubled in size like eyebrows after 2007? Whoa, yeah, that was a that. long stint of puny brow. I would say, it. I would say they more than doubled. I mean, I remember my, my wife in like the early 2000s, it was like, do you still have eyebrows? I'm glad that's gone. You liked it. The funny thing is, is I did at the time. Yeah, I, feel, I fall for the trends all the time, every time. Um, hmm. I feel like the slider has much more b potential to get bigger because it's smaller already. Only one got bigger. And bagel, this bagel is, is stout. Impervious, yeah. yeah. It's gotta be the slider. It's gotta be the slider. It's gotta be the slider. The little slider. Right? So let, let's, um, 
But let's just go with the slider. Open the slider. See if we're right. Oh, that, yes. that is a big Oh, guy. no! <laughs> Look at how much bigger. We should have known that with more bread, you've got more expansion. Well, they both got big, but that one got a lot bigger. I mean, do we're we not. Do we have to open this? We really seat? don't know until we open it. I'm glad it's over there. Oh, gosh. Oh, broke it's, the seal. This has got to stink. Odd. Odd? Odd. Odd? Odd smell. It's odd. You want any? Yeah. You want money? Is that what you said? I yeah, mean, I want it's money. definitely bigger, but I'm gonna. Ah, it's disintegrating. I broke it. Okay, and then. Oh, this one had a, had a fizz come out of that. Oh, gosh, that's a big bagel. Ah! Ah! Oh! It's. Oh, it made, rancid! It, uh, it made my chest hurt. Like, uh, it's, like, it's the, the the type of bacteria is it's very poopish. Oh my gosh! And I mean, if you just that is just I I, put this, I, I don't I don't want to I'm gonna I'm gonna spare you guys. I'm not gonna take that out of the jar. And now we come to the powdered, cream-filled Dunkin' Donut. Our options are, after two months, did the donut A, secrete its cream like a bunch of prepubescent teenage boys at a bat mitzvah party? Bat mitzvah. Bat, oh. That's why they would be too. Oh, yeah, why they'd be there. Yeah, secreting Doing, the cream. I don't, I don't know, I don't wanna know. Because the B, bat, bat is when the, is for the girls. Bar is for the boys. Oh, bat, bat yeah. Bat mitzvah. Yeah. Or B, keep its cream inside like a cow playing hard to get. Ah. Uh, um, you think the cream got out of this donut? Why would it get out? Why would it stay in? I, I don't know why 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 the cream would come out. I'm, well, I, because the donut is gonna disintegrate. Get, yeah, yeah, okay, it's gonna get real big. That cream wants to come out. Cream wants to come out. But then it's going to, will we, will we even be able to tell because it's gonna be so much yeah, that'd be breading cream, cream donut in stuff there. everywhere. It's gonna be just like. No, it's not as big as a bagel. An explosion. Oh, that smells good, I wanna I know, eat that. That's tempting, isn't mm. it? Even with this nasty glove I got on, I still wanna touch it, eat it. <laughs> and like, there's even a whole bunch of cream on the bottom. Oh, oh you found the cream bottom. <laughs> Look yeah. at that. You All right, know we, that cream came out. So we are saying, A, I'm gonna go with you. You've been right most of the time. Uh, secrete its cream. Let's find out. Oh yeah, t t look around, t turn around. And look. look how different it is. It's so brown and then there's some cream. Now is this, this thing might not stink. It'll well, stink. Why would it not stink? <laughs> I don't know. Cause I'm just, I'm afraid, Red. Huh. It doesn't stink. Oh, uh, you know what? Because it's maybe it's just bread and has no meat in it. But what about a baseball? Maybe a baseball's got meat in it. And let's pull this thing out and see if we can see see where the cream is. Well, you're gonna disintegrate it in that process. But uh, okay. the, the cream basically jumped no completely out of the donut and nestled itself next to it. Yeah, it did. See, look, there come there's the donut, and all I'm left with is a good time. It's funny how the cream just exited the donut and nestled next to it. It's like, I don't wanna leave, I don't wanna disseminate throughout this entire uh, coffee glass. That's what they call that, right? Coffee I just, glass, I yeah. just wanna come out of the donut and just sit, look around. Well, you know what? We were that close to a queen sweep, but we missed one, but we still get to own the brand new Good and mythical travel mugs. Get one at mythical.com. Oh, we also left Link's glasses and coffee for two months. Oh. So that's where those have been. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hello, my name is Robert Newton. And I'm from Mechanicsville, Maryland. And I'm remodeling my bathroom right now, but it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Oh, sorry, we caught you in the middle of something. <laughs> Good luck with that project. <laughs> Click the top link to watch us taste some of the most decadent coffee creamers on the market in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the Willamette Cality is gonna land, add the GMM Travel Mug to your Mythical Drinkware collection. Available now at mythical.com.